Hi, I'm Kimberly Trion, and I will be covering deep tendon reflexes. Uh, we're going to start by entering our patient's room, close the door curtain for privacy, perform hand hygiene. Hi, ma'am. I'm Kim. I'll be your nurse today. Can you verify your full name and date of birth? Katriana Watkins, 12, 1985. Okay, verify two patient identifiers. Okay, Ms. Watkins, today we are going to be assessing your deep tendon reflexes. Um, this involves just tapping on various tendons and um, assessing the uh, intensity of the reflex reaction. So uh, this is important with uh, our pregnant patients because it could be an indicator of uh, preeclampsia or eclampsia, as well as it could indicate magnesium toxicity um, in our patients receiving magnesium sulfate. Uh, we grade this, uh, these reflexes on a zero to four scale. So a zero is an absent reflex. A plus one is a diminished or a hyporeflexive response. Um, a plus two is going to be our normal response. Plus three is a brisk or a hyperactive response. And a plus four is a hyperactive or a clonus response. So if we get a, um, a zero or a plus one, a diminished or absent, and our patient is receiving MAG, uh, we would be concerned for magnesium toxicity. If our patient is pregnant and we see a plus three or a plus four, uh, we'll be concerned for preeclampsia, um, especially eclampsia if she's got that plus four clonus. So um, we're gonna just perform it on one side, but we would perform it bilaterally on our patients. We'll start with our brachial uh, bicep reflex. So we're gonna have her relax her arm, slightly flexed. We're gonna feel for that bicep tendon and we're gonna tap. We're looking for contraction of the bicep and um, slight flexion of the forearm. We'll check her tricep reflex. So we're gonna find her tricep tendon, which is just above her elbow. And we're looking for a contraction of the tricep and a little bit of extension of that forearm. All right. Next, we are going to test her patellar, uh, her patellar reflex. So we're going to go just under the uh, kneecap and we're going to find that patellar tendon. We're looking for a slight uh, extension of the knee. All right. And then our um, Achilles, so we're going to slightly dorsiflex. We're going to have her um, maintain a nice relaxed leg, and we're going to find our Achilles tendon. It's going to be the back of the ankle right above the heel, and we are going to look for a um, plantar flexion. Perfect. And then last, what we're going to assess for is we're going to assess for ankle clonus. Again, have her relax. We're gonna support the leg and we're gonna quickly dorsiflex. We're looking for any rhythmic tapping um, or jerking, usually like four to five in a row. Um, that is gonna be a positive uh, clonus and that will tell us that she's at increased risk for seizures um, or eclampsia. A negative reflex would be a nice smooth uh, dorsiflexion and release. Um, finally, we're going to place our patient in a position of comfort. Um, we're going to perform hand hygiene and document our procedure.